All right, as I was saying in the previous update video, let's uh, check out this new limited time series featuring Skyline GTR B spec R33. It ends in nine days. Uh, the usual message represent completing this special limited time series. Uh, an incredibly stylish. Mm, you don't say. <laughs> He's unworthy of the Skyline Mantle and the RB226DETT engine. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, I guess we'll all find out. All right, so, of course, 15 tier series. And uh, here's the, oh, come on. Total gold we're going to get is, what, 10 gold? All right, but to be fair, I guess uh, we're, you know, this is one of the lower uh, PR cars. So let's do it. Yes. 100% complete. Yes. Take the car. We'll give it back. <laughs> We'll do the restore, so no worries there. Uh, but, and it does unlock Nissan, classic Nissan collection. Of course, you got to have a series to drive the car in, right? And I'm sure that series has some uh, races featuring the new Circuit of the Americas track. Oh, hello. All right, so PR, base PR 2.3. And let's check out what the final PR requirement is here. It's going to be 12.3. So as I was saying, we do need to bring out in this case exactly 10 upgrades. And the first cash upgrade takes only 10 minutes. But for our purpose, we'll just upgrade with the, with the gold right away. So I wonder if they're going to continue on with the three tier upgrades across the board for winning these cars because that would be kind of convenient you know for um keeping things easy instead of doing some weird math right so all right um and that brings pr up to 2.8 so 0.5 all right and then the first tier or second tier upgrade or first gold upgrade an engine is going to cost 10 gold but let's do the cash upgrades first and i have a feeling this is another 0.5 another 10 for the second tier for drivetrain and the body 0.4 and followed by another gold upgrade and then suspension another 0.4 pr all right and exhaust we got what do we have 4.1 to 4.7 so that's 0.6 all right as always exhaust the pretty good return or pretty good boost in pr and the brakes we got it uh going up 0.5 and always the cheapest upgrade of course which comes in very handy for these limited time series and tires and wheels we got 0.4 pr boost for first round of upgrades here so that brings our pr up to 5.6 so that was what 3.3 right because we started at 2.3 kind of easy to remember because the requirement is 12.3 so um and since you guys already know there is no uh, gold gain in these limited time series it's always going to be net negative in terms of how much gold you're going to end up with at the by completing these limited time series but of course the upside is you get a new car with a decently upgraded you know status right so here let's uh, run through the upgrades so here 10 gold for second tier gold and then you know what 
we'll just go ahead and get the cash upgrade following right because if you're going to get the gold might as well get the next one as well right so that was 10 gold anyway what you would normally spend and then here's another 10 so we're up to 20 gold and that gets your PR up to 7.6 and then 8 so that's 28 suspension 9 so 37 and exhaust another 9 so we're at 37 so 46 and then break 7 so we're at 46 right so 46 53 right <sighs> 53 is that what I said right and then 53 61 and that does get us exactly to what we need 12.3 all right so that's how much it cost and we get 10 of it back so the net cost what did I say 50 something I already forgot but you guys can rewind the video and you know um see what i did so but you know the 50 60 that's not too expensive anyway so that's what it's gonna take but let's check out the actual series you know see if we get a whole lot of races at the new circuit because that's what's exciting right anyway we got the endurance for first tier at indianapolis road course so in the first tier nothing new um gotta be pretty straightforward right just i'm assuming yeah single cup a uh, single lap cup race at melbourne moving on to tier two speed snap at the spa all right and then ooh, there we go hunter at circuit of the americas club circuit so we are getting i think we're getting what three different track variations at circuit of the americas so that is going to be something to look forward to. At least I am looking forward to that one. Albeit with a little bit slower car, but that will be perhaps a good way to learn the track. And uh, club circuit, typically the fairly short version. So we'll see how that um, shows up in the game. And then we got a Red Bull Ring Cup race, Grand Prix. So that's going to be a single lap race, most likely yep and then, oh what was the pr requirement not that you know it's gonna matter 4.2 so obviously you need upgrades to get there and then tier three we got head-to-head -head elimination cup all in one of the older circuits so who cares about that right <laughs> i know they're getting cold shoulders here um tier four this is an important one though because this tells you when you get what one gold right for two lapper at mazda raceway they still call it mazda raceway by the way the name has changed but you know what for all i care i prefer adding a new track than having to you know correct the old track's name that's a okay pr 5.8 is required and uh first without the gold i don't think you got pr up to 5.8 it was 5.3 wasn't it right something like that or 5.6 so once again you need to spend gold to win that one precious gold and then next tier tier five we got a cup at circuit of the americas cota national circuit and we get a double leopard there so that's kind of exciting and you guys don't care about the pr requirement for those right speed snap um okay at the junior monza is pretty easy uh and the hunter at brands hatch in the circuit okay fine and then nothing new in tier six but we do have a rather long circuit uh the le mans circuit circuit de 24 heures. evening race single effort thank goodness right that's gonna take long enough and tier seven nothing new there either all right we get some grand prix circuit races Ooh, two laps at dubai gp 
that might take a while. All right, and then tier eight. So tier seven is what we need to know because um, in terms of PR requirement, so 7.6 is what's required to get 50% done. And obviously, once again, as I said earlier, it's not gonna be net gain for gold, no matter how hard you try. And to complete tier eight, um, you don't have to, by the way, do the cup race in tier eight to get the 50% completion um, because you only need to get two gold, uh, two gold trophies here. But uh, let's just, for the fun of it, check it out. 8.2 is what's required. And um, two laps at Hokenheim GP. So we're getting some double lappers. All right. And the tier nine, autocross hunter cup. So nothing special there. On panorama, ooh, two laps. So we are getting some double lappers at uh, rather decent length tracks. And uh, tier 10, head to head at Suzuka GP, elimination at Nurburgring GP, and cup at Porsche Test Track Dynamic Circuit. This has got to be a multiple lapper. Four laps. All right, at least it's a pretty short track. And let's see, tier 11, um, endurance at Catalonia GP, all right, speed snap at Hong Kong, and cup at Indianapolis Road Course. Three laps and 9.9 .9 is PR, of course, that's the 75% completion because in order to get 75% complete, you gotta at least do one gold trophy in tier 12, which means you gotta complete the tier 11, right? You guys done this long uh, enough times by now. So uh, tier 12, you got Hunter at Le Mans, or head to head at Kota Circuit of the Americas National Circuit uh, single lapper. All right, and uh, Spa Cup race two laps. Yeah, okay, I'm I'm getting it now. And then tier thirteen, uh, nothing new here. Autocross endurance and cup at in the seven lapper. Who? <laughs> they really want us to go around in circles. PR 11, all right, not that it really is that important since uh, you're not going to really get anything. And finally, we get a proper Grand Prix Circuit Cup race at Circuit of the Americas, and that's going to be three laps. All right, so we're actually going to get to race a decent length race. So that's cool, but what's the PR requirement? 11.6. All right, so even if you don't win this car, well... No, go ahead and win this car. There is no even if. Forget it. Forget that I said that. Just go win. Bring your PR up to 12.3. It's not that expensive. Um, even if you completely starting out with a zero gold, I think you can win 50 gold or 60 gold in nine days. You know, right? That's reasonably doable in the course of a week, right? or nine days as I said um, so that'll be kind of fun all right and then the, of course the final tier we got uh, Hunter at Monza Junior Speed Snap at Hokenheim National and the uh, final cup of course was is at Silverstone GP three lapper with the PR requirement as I said of 12.3 all right so um, New car, fine. Um, limited time series, fine. But really, for me, what this is really about is going to be about tier 14. And what were the other tiers that had the uh, Circuit of the Americas tier 12, head to head. And there were a couple of other tiers that had a new um, track featured. And... So far, two tiers, and uh, there we go. Tier five, and the tier two, right, was the one with the hunter, right? So there are four tiers that I'm really looking forward to. The rest, bah, you know. <laughs> so anywho, that does it for this video. So yeah, there we go, and. Uh, 
on the next video, uh, obviously, I'll do the actual playthrough. So uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. So uh, you can see if we come across any unusual challenges, right? I don't think, I didn't see any that seemed like it was going to be um, um, challenging, like something that you might have to like service the car the way it looked. It looks like uh, we might be able to run through the whole series without service, servicing the car one time, entirely in critical condition. But for this one, because we have some new tracks, I might actually get the car serviced for those um, races. So I might service the car a few times through this uh, series, but we'll see. Um, so anyway, stay tuned for the playthrough of the new limited time series featuring the new track. All right. So until then, take care and see you later.